I got a trifecta on my channel today. I got Chocolate Man in Thailand, I got BMT, I got International Barber World. But I gotta start here. I get so many requests for me and you to do channels together with our girls. Do you hear the same shit? I hear the same shit. <laughs> You know Richie, you know, you gonna hit up Richie, when are you and Richie gonna collab? When are you gonna get far and hell together? I mean, it's not stop. So let's give them what they call me. I'm the Travel OG, and I traded in my Hollywood lifestyle for the sexy beaches of Pattaya, Thailand. We're bringing you exclusive interviews, showing you what the golf courses are like, the caddies are like, what the homies like. Zoom to Thailand with your man, Richie Matt, the Travel OG. But I gotta get to my major question. And I gotta put the pressure on you. Name your top three countries. Oh, I've always named my top In three order. countries. I was, I was. Tired of fighting with your girl? Tired of dealing with the same stuck up women when you go out in the States? Tired of these fake ass IG models begging for cash apps? Fellas, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to settle. The women in Pattaya outnumber the men 20 to 1 out here. No matter your age, your race, your height, or even your weight, they don't discriminate. They don't discriminate. Think of mine? Zoom to Thailand with your man Richie Mack, the Travel OG. Make sure to like and subscribe to all my videos. You got questions? No problem. You balling on a budget? No problem. You scared of rejection? No problem. It's impossible to fail here. Book a consultation, become a Patreon member, make new friends, and join the family of Zoom to Thailand. Your life will never be the same. Zoom tries. A few moments later. I would say... Thailand. Thailand number one? Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? It, changed, it didn't change because I was here. I said that. That's right. I said that. You made that number one? Since 2019. Got it. It didn't change just because I got here. Okay, so Thailand number and, one. But it's reasons why it's number one. To me, it's number one because to me, the amount of fun you can have here, the options you have here. It, it's, it's big to me, okay. you know what I mean? And uh, What's the level two? of service that you can receive here, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's, it's, it's hard to match, Absolutely. you know what I mean? And I don't mean, I mean with everything, hotels, hotels and people, yeah. and the, the, the kindness, the patience, the respect level, those are the things that makes it like high on my, on my list of priority. I asked you before on one of my other episodes what your favorite country was. You gave me Colombia last time. Do you want to recap that? Do you want you want to switch your your top three countries around? Are you gonna are you gonna stick with that story while you still here in time? <laughs> I feel like I feel like Colombia, bro. Still my number one. He sold out. See, so he sold out. He's saying that. You know why he's saying that? He don't want people in Colombia to feel bad, but he knows. Yeah. He knows he's been in Thailand for a reason. We love Colombia, bro. We are yeah. in Colombia. Have you been there? We already talked about this. Have, have we already been talked about this. Yeah, he he already. I'm like, hey, you you been there? You been there? You been there? No, I haven't been. I haven't been there. I can't, I can't make a I can't make a fair judgment. I got plenty of friends there. I can't make a fair. Thailand to Colombia. Yeah, neither one of y'all been. Yeah. yeah, I've been to Brazil. Shout out to my boy Jane. But I'm not Colombia. What does Colombia have over Brazil? Because there was some bad ones in Brazil. Colombia, I think Colombia maybe has like more pretty women in a cluster. They're prettier in, in Colombia than Brazil. Mike, let me say that because um, they also, it's not just one one um, nationality woman. The Venezuelans are there too. Right. They are, they are, you know, you got to factor them in. They're in Colombia, so I would say like, as far as like Cartagena, there's, there's, and in Medellin, there's just a lot of beautiful women. You know what I mean? So, you see, you see that, you know, they got... Like, it's a competition for women to look good in Colombia. You know, like, they really care about how they look. Like, you're not going to see, like, you could see some, you could see a big scope of variation in Brazil. Now, of course, Brazil is, they got, it's like, four times the size of Colombia. So, it depends. You can go and, and see, 
more Aboriginal people in, in, in Brazil, you can go and see the, the Brazilians mixed with European. You can go see the Brazilians from uh, Africa, the African diaspora. So there's a, a wide range of looking people in Brazil where you could go on Copacabana Beach and see regular, like, you know, and you can see tens and you can see regular. So it's, but when you go to the major cities like Medellin and Cartagena, the amount of beautiful women you can see collectively, that's the difference. They got Brazil. They got Yeah, because you could, you could see, Brazil has just as much beauty. But not clustered together. Got you, got you, got you. That's what I was saying. Got you, man. In Colombia, they got so many beautiful women. Like when I literally, I think it was 2018, I walked into Bustos. Like I, I was like, man, I couldn't believe it. Like I couldn't believe it was that many beautiful women in the club. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll never forget that. It's not like that now, but right. That's what it was. It was like I was like, oh. I just kept saying, oh my God. So this, this is what this is the question I would pose to y'all. Of course, there's beautiful women everywhere. You go to Thailand, Brazil, Colombia, wherever there's beautiful women everywhere. All right, we've got we got the P problem out of the way. Right. Now you gotta get to the real, you gotta get to the living, the infrastructure, what you where you residing at, this type of thing, the money you're spending on safety. That's the real comparison to me because we've already solved the other problem. We've got that out of the way. We're gonna find exactly what you want wherever yeah. you're living at. Now we push all that aside because we know that's a foregone conclusion. What now? What now? If no. we compare that part, now what would you think? I mean, it's the affordability compared from coming from the West is still attractive as well. Now there are cities that have more or less I would say the only place that's really had some issues is Medellin. Like, you don't have that issue in Cartagena. You wouldn't have that issue in Barranquilla or Santa Marta. Uh, maybe in Cali, but, I, you know, I don't really hear no stories of Cali. And then there's Boca Ramanga. There's, a, there's, a, there's a many places that you could live that I feel are on the safe side in Colombia. Same in Brazil. Like, if you move to Brazil, the, the danger is near. I mean, you could go to Fortaleza. You could you could go to. Uh, uh, What's the place here on Salvador? You always talk about that. You could go to Salvador. So, like, Brazil has uh, 21 states and 120 something cities. You know what I mean? So, it's hard to just like break it down because basically, when we talk about a country as travelers and movers, we're only talking about maybe two to three or four major cities in that place. And then most of the time we're talking about the major city. You know what I mean? So I, you can't compare the countries, only compare the cities if you want to be realistic. Because comparing the country, when you don't have knowledge of the country and you have or little knowledge of the country and its whole, and in any major city, there's going to be more crime because it's a major city, it's a metropolitan city, and people are living, so you're going to find more crime in those areas. But overall, I mean, I've never felt unsafe in any of these places, but I have heard stories, you know what I'm saying? And then I guess it depends the people coming and what they started to attract. You know what I mean? In those places. Now, it also depends on how the government reacts to the crime. The crime of the people and the crime of the foreigners. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to, from what I hear, you don't want to go to jail in time. At all. So people do things, so they not the same thing in Cuba. Cuba is safe as hell. Because the amount of years you get in Cuba to, for doing something, people don't do those crimes there. So it all depends on the country and what the consequences you have to face from doing a crime there. But in fairness, I gotta get pushback. That's part of his question, though. Yeah, no. With all things considered, I can't. I would say, because I was about to I hit you with the question. I haven't been in Thailand long enough to say how safe it is. It appears to be safe. I hear it is safe. <clears throat> I, I've walked it in the street at night, so yeah, it looks a little more grimy in the Philippines per se. But honestly, you know, I've never had a problem in any country. I hear more stories of things happening probably in the countries frequented by us as of lately. Probably Colombia, mostly that's based in Medellin. Right. If not, I don't really hear too much in Cartagena or any other place.
I've never been to Columbia, but trust me, the Travel OG will touch down in that beautiful place. And when I go, I'm taking the Zoom tribe with me. You dig? My job is to entertain, educate, and show everybody in real time what it's like living here in the land of smiles. If you want to keep seeing episodes like this, make sure to feed that algorithm by tapping and hitting that like button, kicking that subscribe button, and always dropping your messages in the chat. Shout out to all my subscribers and Patreon members in the military. You guys rock with me for real. What's your favorite part about Thailand? What do you like the most? I mean, you gotta start off. I mean, it's always comes down to economics, right? It's the easiest to live here. The financial side of it is is obviously the best. But if you take away the financial aspect, then, then you get back to the people. Now, the people, that's what it's really about. You know, this is what you want to live. Right? Feel comfortable around ties. I feel comfortable walking down any random alley, yeah. especially even in a city this size, yeah. walking down any alley any time of day. I don't feel like someone's going to jump out and get me in here yeah. like yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. The safety. I feel, I feel Thailand. That's what I said. That's what takes it over the top for yeah. me is safety. Yeah. And nothing against the Philippines, but I didn't feel safe like that. Really? People are friendly in the, in the Philippines. Super super friendly, but not everybody like that. Where were you in the Philippines? I was in AC, Angeles City. Okay. Yeah, okay. there's just certain places you don't mess around at night there. And yeah. in Manila especially, there are many places where you just you don't mess around at night, man. Really? Don't do it. That's crazy. Don't do it. Did not know don't that. Somebody told me I was brave in Manila. They were brave to be walking around Manila like that. I didn't feel I didn't feel I didn't crazy have no in problems Manila. there though. But it's grimy enough for you to be like, okay, I can see. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's fun. So I gotta tell you something, man. It's like, when I watch everybody's channel, I, I give people nicknames, and I see people and I do different things, man. You gotta be one of the coolest on YouTube, bro. When I watched your channel, I was like, this dude is so cool. He just lays in the cut and does his thing. I think I'm just kind of laid back. But I do wild out sometimes. But most time I'm just chilling laid back. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your get down? I'm just being me. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Just being me. But you and the Fonz, you know who I call the Fonz, right? Yeah, yeah. Taylor um, made dreams. Uncle, Uncle Taylor. Yeah, man, that's the Fonz. He might have been further along if he did Stop this channel. Yeah, yeah, that's what he told me. If he would have never stopped this channel, huh? he would be much further along. Well, I'm not really salty, but the reason people here at us on the Matrix kind of salty, it's like you cheating, right? It's like you cheating on a game. <laughs> that's a, I, I apologize by laughing. That's the first time I heard I'm cheating on the game. I mean, it's like somebody, you know, cheating on a test and then because you cheating, that's why we kind of salty about it. So what I mean by you cheating is that, um, so you go overseas, now you a high value, I guess you, you a high status man, but nothing changed about you. So that's why I'm saying it's cheating, right? Cause <laughs> going overseas, that didn't change anything. You, you, didn't, you didn't become more of a quality person, but suddenly your value just go up. So it's, 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 uh, it's not real. It's kind of artificial. It's kind of like you cheating. That's why, um, I mean, we rather you stay on the matrix and compete on a fair fight. You get what I'm saying? So how, how you feel about that? <laughs> uh, first of all, I was a high value man before I even came to the seat, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was already at the top of the food chain, at least to me, right? And nobody else's opinion about me matters more to me than me. So I didn't come overseas to become a high value man. I came overseas for peace. I came overseas because I got tired of the racism. I came overseas because of the politics and the politics that is happening in the matrix. I came overseas because I thought that the cesspool that they call a dating pool is just, is just toxic. So there's a multitude of reasons I moved over here. I didn't cheat the game, I beat the game. So there you have it. These brothers collectively have touched just about every corner of the earth. And we are no different than you are. Don't let the haters shame you out of enjoying your life and discovering the world. We only get one shot at this thing called life. So live it. Save your money, get your passport, book a consultation with me or any of the passport partners who has actually experienced these countries of your choice. Whether it's tailor-made dreams in the DR, Coach Andre in Columbia, BMT out here with me, and International Zoe Barber World TV. Even though Chocolate Man in Thailand doesn't do consultations, you can learn a lot just by watching this channel. We are the crash test dummies. We know the ins and outs. We made the mistakes, and we have the cheat code.
Make sure to share these videos with like-minded people. Make sure to hit the like button so the algorithm can keep us popping. And make sure to hit the notification bell because you never know when I'm going to pop up on a live in the middle of a little something, something, you dig? Thanks for all the love and support. Thanks for rocking with the Travel OG. I'm still waiting for somebody to pull up and show me their lifestyle in the Matrix Challenge. So until next time, you know what I'm about to say, right? Music <laughs> soon to Thailand. Hope you coming too. Uh -huh. Richie Mac, travel OG with celebrity interviews. Get your passport, let's go. let's go. This is what you need for show. Brothers in Thailand and bikini babes at the beach. If you need more, he got it popping. Caddy of the day, we golfing. Really ain't a better option. Time to travel, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let's connect. Uh, Richie Mac, yeah, we steady vibing. Take a journey, let's get moving. Cause we zooming right to Thailand. Hey, Richie Mac, travel OG, let's go. Where? The Gustos. What's it called? Gustos? What is that? It's a club. It's a club. In okay. Medellin. I think the most, one of the most beautiful girls I've seen was in Cartagena. But I'm just saying, like, it'll, it'll, throw, it'll, it'll throw you off, man, the amount of girls you can see in the club areas. Uh -huh. Even if you go to Provenza and go on the other side where the restaurants are, like, there's just a lot of beautiful women there. Wow. And it'll throw you off the amount of the level of beauty. Okay. And not only beauty, but the way they take care of themselves too. Like they dress nice, they care about how they look. Like there's no women in Colombia going to the supermarket or nothing with a hair wrap on. Right. Like they going to the supermarket in the mall just just as good as almost when they going to the right. club. Okay. You know what I mean? Like they care before they come out uh, the house. Uh, let me balance it out. They crazy now. But right. <laughs> They're crazy in a, you know what I'm saying? They're crazy in a, in, in, in a loving type of way. I guess a loving type of way. <laughs> Some of them are crazy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and notify. The algorithm is real.